If you like your grandma, you're gonna love Claire Daniel. <laughs> She'll physically remind you of an old woman because she constantly wears her glasses on the edge of her nose and has some vicious battles with both her bunions and her quickly aging knees. She also has all the best and most lovable qualities of your grandma, like giving you some of the best hugs and lending advice that is wise beyond her years. I love this girl and know you will too, so give it up for Elizabeth Claire Daniel. In just two words and nine letters, my life philosophy could not be more perfectly summed up than in the quote, no regrets. Let me spell that for you. N-O-R-A-G-R-E-T-S, no regrets. If you're wondering where I even found this quote, it is from a movie that I saw not too long ago. And the phrase is attributed to a certain character named Scotty P. Let me tell you about Scotty P. Scotty P has long hair, wears tank tops and diamond earrings, and sports the sideways hat. Let's just say I would never want to date Scotty P, and I don't think you would either. But here's the thing that made me notice Scotty P. He has this tattoo that says no regrets in big letters across his chest. <laughs> While pretty much any normal person would be baffled by Scotty P's ability to literally misspell the simple word regrets and tattoo it on his chest, I actually think that we should all learn something from Scotty P's tattoo. I believe that in just two short words, this quote perfectly captures the way that life should be lived, with no regrets and big mistakes. This probably sounds pretty strange, so let me clarify what I mean and give some backstory. I used to be a very shy girl who couldn't make any decisions for herself, even if it was something extremely low risk, such as choosing between the chicken fingers and the salad at Houston's, because I was afraid that I would immediately regret the decision I just made. I would never dare to take any risks because I never wanted to fall flat on my face. I didn't want to fail, I didn't want to embarrass myself, and I didn't want to make a mistake. It was a lot easier for me to get mad at someone else for falling short than it was to make the decision myself and live with regret. That being said, I eventually grew out of this self-restricting <laughs> I eventually grew out of this self-restricting attitude. Long story short, after a few years of new experiences and getting lost in a different country a few too many times, I found myself gradually taking more and more risks, but I also fell short a few times. I was starting to dare more, but I was making mistakes in the process. However, I never regretted the risks I took, regardless of the outcome. For example, I decided one day during junior year to sign up for the St. Jude Half Marathon, despite not even, having, not even having run a 5K before. I was so terrified, but didn't think too much about it because it was just so far away. Fast forward to one week before the half marathon. Had I trained? No. <laughs> Had I even walked around the block? No. <laughs> but I decided to just go for it. Let's just say it was honestly one of the most painful things I've ever put myself through, <laughs> aside from my double bunionectomy. Just from not training for these 13.1 miles, I even ended up getting tendonitis in both of my knees, which by the way, still has not gotten any better. Was it a big mistake not training? Definitely. Will I ever run another half marathon? Probably not. However, did I regret running? Not one bit, because I learned something about myself that I otherwise never would have. I learned something important about being mentally tough. I can remain committed and determined and can dig deep to see things through, even if my thighs are burning and I feel like I could pass out at any moment, but I refuse to quit. I know that I will have lots of figurative half marathons in my life and I will always be able to draw from the experience of the St. Jude Half Marathon to push through the challenges. I will persist. Risk and the discomfort are worth it. Don't get me wrong, we don't all need to be like Scotty P, who did not take the time to check for the correct spelling of regrets, nor do we need to take stupid risks. However, the possibility of failure, discomfort, and embarrassment should never stop us from learning more about the world and ourselves. Making mistakes and failing is just a part of the thing that we call life. In fact, the biggest things I have learned are from failure or struggle, not easy success. So this is why I live by the philosophy of no regrets. This is why I do not regret the risks I take, even if I do make mistakes or fail. 
So thankfully, I do not date Scotty P, but I do give credence to that tattoo, and I hope that you will too. Thank you.